Hi guys, I'm making um, Gus and Snoopy um, another little kitchen. Um, I kind of miss their little snack shack that they had before, so I'm going to make them another one. And this, it's mostly because I've been wanting to change the cage again, and I'm trying to prevent myself from doing that and getting into a whole big thing with the cage. So I'm just going to make a kitchen. Um, the way I'm doing it, this piece of uh, Corax or Coroplast, whatever you want to call it, is three feet by three feet. I've just taken one of my grids and I've centered it and I've just measured um, from the center out to the edge on all the sides just to make sure that it's even and it's actually measuring out to 11 inches from the grid out to the edge from there out, from here out, and from there. So I just trace that down on there and I've extended the lines all the way up to the end and all the way out. And then just remember that when you cut the Corax, just cut very gently so that it's still hinged. And then what that does is when you go to make your little box, you don't have a seam here so all the food and water or anything that they might spill or if they um, they go to the bathroom it's not going to leak through so it just helps it and then all you have to do is um, glue your sides together so I just cut those two sides and now I'm in the process of cutting these ones um, obviously there's a grain to this so it's easier to cut one way than it is the other but you just have to use patience and please do not do this on your parents good floors. Go out in the driveway or go out in the garage or something and uh, please don't kill their floors. And if you do, don't tell them that it was my idea um, and you were just following what I told you to do because I'm telling you, go outside. Don't kill the floors in the house. Okay, so I just pack that in. And I just do a pencil line and I just kind of do it by eye. I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing here. So, and then I just trim this down. And then what's going to happen is these corners are actually going to be, they're actually going to go away. But I first want to make sure that I've made my cuts good. And I'm going to have to just bend it up a little bit. Like that. Bend this side, and I think what I'm going to do with this little kitchen is I'm actually going to decorate it um, for the seasons. Uh, so this is going to be their little Christmas house, and I have that vinyl that I decorated with before, um, the red vinyl. So I think I might just make it a little Christmas house or something, or gingerbread house. I don't know. You can just decorate it with stickers, whatever. See, so now I'm just going to cut these four corners away, and then when it goes together, see with the corners gone, it's just going to go up like that, and it's just going to join, and it's going to be nice and neat. Okay, so do that with all the corners, and you're going to be left with a big, like, plus sign kind of thing. Yeah, I've been wanting to redo their cage, so I'm settling for making them a kitchen because I really feel like changing things around. But again, the little cottage here that we live in is so small, there's no room to expand. And where I'd like to put the cage is where the Christmas tree is to go in the next month or so. So, you never know, I might expand the page after Christmas, but for now, not a good idea. Now, I bought this at a sign store. Um, you just go where they make like company signs and stuff, and a lot of those signs are made on this Corax or Coroplast. Now, I paid for this three foot by three foot sheet they charged me $15, um, which isn't bad. I mean, I have nowhere else that I can buy it, so that's all right, 15 bucks. And this stuff is great because it is waterproof and uh, 
very sturdy. A little hard to cut when you go in the opposite direction. Alright, so here is, hang on, here is our kitchen. So now when you flip it over, see all your cut marks are on this side. So when you flip it, your kitchen's going to go up like this. And then I just use heavy duty tape um, to stick that all together. And then the way I said that there's lines, there's like grooves in the Corex, that's how I cut the doorway. So I'm just going to do a little doorway for them. I could just leave one whole side off and then just put up the three sides like this and they could jump up into it. But um, I kind of want to make it like a little house again like I had before. So I'm just going to make a doorway and sorry if you can't see this very good. It's hard to do this and control the camera at the same time so you got to just bear with me here. Okay, so for the doorway, I'm going to put it in the corner. So all I do is go up one of those lines. And I'm doing a little archway at the top of it. Just makes it cute. And then come back down the other side. Like that. And I think that's, I don't know. Might have to make that a little bit wider. They're getting to be big piggies. But, um, so this doorway is actually going to be at the edge of the cage, um, coming down that side. So, this will go up like that, and then just a little rounded door just to make it cute. But I make it high enough so that if they have to jump up into it, because I don't think I'm going to put a ramp, um because I don't think I need one. I'm just going to sit this on top of their little houses that they have now. So, here, let's go, um, let's go check that out. Let's see where I'm going to put it. Okay, so here we are at um, the top of their cage here. So these are little houses that I always put in the corner and they seem to really like these. So I'm going to leave these here. Um, it's just a little hiding place for them. So I'm just going to use my cable ties and I have a grid here. So that's just going to go there. I've got to move this obviously. And then this is where their kitchen's going to go. So here's their little doorway. I could have actually did a funky little thing there with uh, had to come down an angle. But this is good and they can go up in there and they'll be fine. And I like putting it um, not all the way up to the top because then this could slide all over the place. So having it down like this, the corner actually creates a bit of a barrier there. So you just take your zip ties and I will probably go through every square, or most of the squares anyway. They're all excited down there, they hear me doing something. So here's the pig's new kitchen, and I've just filled it with their hay and their food dish, so we'll see if they can figure it out. Oh, Snoopy got up there. Here, I'll just take the camera off of here. Can you figure it out, guys? You can smell the stuff. You can smell it. Look, it's over in here. Hey, Snoop. Hi, Snoop. That's your new kitchen. Now it's sagging a little bit. It's like crooked. I don't know why it's doing that. So I might have to um, pin up the sides or something. I don't know. Gus, Gus, look up here, honey. Look, come see. Gus, come on over. Gus. Oh, Gus can't figure it out. Snoopy did. Didn't you, Snoop? You're a smart pig. Yes. Gus, come on, pun. Here, Gus. Go see. It's over this way. Come see. Look, Gus. This way, look. Come see. Look. 
Excuse me, Snoopy. Gotta help your brother here. He's a little bit slow. Here, look. There, it's up in here. Go get it. Move over, Snoop. Move over. Going up, Gus. Are you just getting the scraps that fell down? Going up. Up you go. Nope. Oh, Gus. There. Go up. Up you go. <laughs> oh, my. The whole thing is tilting. Okay, well. That, um... I'm going to have to change the houses in underneath there. Here, give me a second. got to fix that. There. I just had to adjust their little house underneath there, but now it's kind of like a little cave. Isn't it, Gus? Check that out. How fun is that? Do you like it? Let's see. That's pretty neat. Um, yeah, what I've discovered is that they're big pigs now. They're like heavy. Um, they're old kitchens. I mean, they barely weighed anything. Now they're getting that much heavier. So, there look us. Up you go. Go find Snoop. Go get Snoop. <laughs> so that makes a good little hidey house for them. Alright, so there are the pigs. I'm going to decorate it and I'll come back. And as you can see, I trimmed the little things on my windsock and I have it closer to the ceiling now. So, um, it's hanging a little crooked. i got to fix that. So, yeah. But uh, that's their new kitchen, and I don't know, I think it's good. It, um, it seems to cut off this top layer a little bit, but um, <laughs> up you go, guys. I don't think I need a ramp for them. Um, they should be able to figure it out. And um, yeah, so they have a little bit less space now that I did the little hidey house thing there and stuff, but... Um, I don't know, I just felt like doing something different to the cage. So anyway, there's our new little kitchen. <laughs> Guys, you gotta go in the kitchen. You gotta go inside. You can just stick your head in it. Go up inside. Up. Up, Gus. Jump. <laughs> Such a lazy pig. Up you go. Snoopy will move. Will Snoopy move? Snoop. Scoot. <laughs> he won't even he won't even move. Let your brother in. He's trying to come up. No. <laughs> Sorry, Gus. Oh, you're just getting the scraps. Oh. Oh well. Sorry about that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.